Hello guys. Um, today I'll be showing you um, how to check the health of a disk on um, on Windows 10 or Windows 11 or Windows 7 or whatever version of Windows you're using because this can run on Windows XP. Okay, so go to the Crystal Disk Info. This is the tool that I use to check the health of my disk, um, to check for any bad sectors or um, to check if there's anything wrong with the hard drive basically. So it can run on Windows XP, Windows Visa 7, 8, 8.1 and 10 and it can also run for Windows Server's thing. So yeah, basically it will show up the health of the disk and show it if it have any bad sectors at all on the hard drive. A bad sector is basically part of a hard drive that has a small um, part of a hard drive that is very small in size, about 512 kilobytes that stores all the data. When that um, when that bad sector goes bad then it will put itself as a bad sector and data in that sector is lost forever and um, the operating system will skip it and it will always have a write error rate as well if it fails to read to, to read or write to a sector basically it failed to read to write and write to a sector. This is all that bad sectors are is basically physical damage on the disk. So if you now open up um, physical disk info for go free down then you should be able to see it. Now open up 64 bit if we got a 64 bit CPU um yes and if we got a 32 bit CPU then open up for 32 bit one. Okay I'm gonna talk more about it because it's a little bit different than the GNOME um GNOME discs. It shows you um the free text that it should show which will be caution which means that actually I'm gonna start from okay Ah, oh, my hard drive is caution. That's that's not good. <laughs> but anyway, guys, so it will tell you if a hard drive is good. It's good. That means that the hard drive is okay to use. You can just carry on using it. And caution means that we can use a hard drive still, but it is warning you that um something has gone wrong. Basically, that means you have a few errors on the hard drive. Bad means that um you should just replace it when it goes bad. When it does says bad up here, this is when you need to replace it. Uh, as you guys can see, um, bad basically means that the hard drive is um, about to die soon. Okay, guys, so caution what is has went wrong? We're gonna see. So, read error rate means that it's failed to write, read from the sector. That means we're gonna get a bad sector from here. And it's spin up time, it's um, is um, how to time how long it takes for it to spin up. This is how many times it turns on. This is how many bad sectors it has been reallocated. For me, it's an eight, and this is what it's showing caution for. Seek hour rate, and we also have power on hours. How long we had to PC on for? Uh, I think that doesn't. I'm more used to forgetting home stuff. <laughs> to be quite honest, spin we try would count. That means how many times it tried to spin up. Um, power cycle count. 601 how many times are timed on this PC and then reported uncorrectable errors 20 hmm how do I it seems to be command timeout 2009 high fly rate um, I don't know what airflow temperature that's the temperature of a hard drive um, yeah, so these are different types of attributes. Um, temperature is a temperature of hard drive. Um, it says over here that my temperature is 31 degrees, which is fine. And it tells you more information up here, such as its SATA. So yeah, more for me, for hard drive is for putting itself as caution. So that means I can carry on using this hard drive, but with backup. Um, because um, it's reporting that to me that it has lots of um, bad sectors, basically. It's saying to me that I could still use it to both back up. So yeah, this hard drive has eight bad sectors. I need to keep an eye on it now. So yeah, I would say that if we only got a few bad sectors, like eight or twenty or five or six, then it's not a problem at all. We just need to keep an eye on it. It will tell you if it's failing by the bad sectors increasing rapidly. This is when you need to change it. But if it just stays at eight for me, then I'm fine. This hard drive is fine to use. Um, this is a recently new P um, PC I got. 
and I maybe I'm eligible for a ref not refund but for a replacement hard drive I need to have a look at that if I can get a replacement because um, 8 bar sectors is not a good thing because it basically failed to read or write to the sector and it's basically a hard drive error so I would need to contact them more than I about a replacement hard drive um, yeah hopefully it's still under warranty if it's not then it's not a big problem because I can carry on using this hard drive as it's a very low number so I need to look into getting replaced but yeah guys um, if forgot bad sectors and the hard drive is under warranty then just bring in not less to worry about but if it's not under warranty then you can carry on using the hard drive um, so it's so me caution so whatever 80.2 percent this is not going to die anytime soon in my opinion yeah guys um, I'm going to end this video there <laughs> and my hard drive you can see is doing awesome the new hard drive as well that I've got and it's Seagate oh, I hate Seagate I love Western Tickle Tool but whenever I get a Seagate it always fails on me I don't know why and just seeing it failing is just a bad thing. Yeah, guys, um, I'm gonna end this video there. I hope that you guys find this video useful. Um, we can download it only for Windows. It's not available for Linux, but for Windows, for, but for Linux, you can use GNOME Discs. It will pop to you there if you have any bad sectors at all. And yeah, if you use Mac OS, then I'm not too sure because I don't, I don't normally use Mac OS. I only use it in college, so I don't know much about Mac OS to be completely honest. But you should find it online about any disk abilities that we can install. Just make sure it's not malware though. That's what we need to make sure. Um, yeah, guys, I'm going to end the video there. I will see you guys um, next time. And if you have any questions, then please comment down below. And yeah, I will see you guys maybe next time. Bye.